So in this video I'll be reviewing the LifeCam HD 3000. I'll go ahead and show you the pictures I've took, taken of it. This is the box. And if I go ahead and open it, you can see that this is how the webcam looks like. It's actually quite small. It's like um, an inch this way, a little bit more than an inch, one and a half inch, and maybe one inch this way. It's, it's really small. It fits on the top of the screen, uh, screen quite nicely. And you simply just plug it in and you either have the choice of use, uh, it automatically um, hooks up to Skype there's no software needed if you use Skype and um, you can also use it with OBS but you have to do some configurations and this is how the um, webcam looks like taken out of the box you can just sit it on top of the, your desk and use it like that if you'd like and it, it uses kind of a rubbery uh, like like if you bend it, it it stays in place for example um, like if you bend it like this, it stays in place. So really, this is rubbery enough so that you can just sit it on top of the monitor. And it uh, sits pretty nicely. It doesn't move anywhere unless, you know, there's an earthquake, I'd imagine. And on top of the monitor, it looks uh, like this. It doesn't look too bad. And I'll go ahead and show you the quality of the webcam if you're using it on Skype or OBS. I'll show you, uh, show it to you guys on OBS. So over here is OBS. I'm gonna so in this part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook up your uh, webcam, the Microsoft LifeCam um, HD 3000, to the OBS screen capture software. Right now, as you can see, I've got the monitor capture set up, and it's, um, you can see it right over here. If I disable it, you won't be able to see anything. And so I'll re-enable it. Now, to, in order to get the webcam set up, you right-click, you go to where it says Add, you go to where it says Video Capture Device over here, and go ahead and hit the OK button to make um, this uh, device selection. Now over here, we have something. Um, you just choose the um, webcam. If you, if this is the only webcam you have, you'll go ahead and select the one. But I have another one that's the integrated webcam that's for my laptop. And so you go ahead and select the Microsoft LifeCam HD 3000. And then the other thing you look at is the custom resolution. You go ahead and enable that, and if you want um, 720p, you go down to where it says uh, 7 or 1280 by 720p. So you go ahead and enable that. Lastly, uh, you can see the frames per second. It's locked at 15, uh, 15 frames per second, but I'll change it to 30 and see if it makes a difference. First, 15. I'm going to make a comparison. So let's see. And that's it. You hit the OK button, and you can see that um, my picture comes up and you can uh, see the quality when I move my head back and forth I'm gonna um, change the um, change it to 30 frames per second and see if it makes a difference for you so again uh, properties you probably won't be able to see oops not this one uh, properties alright let's see uh, 30 frames per second and hit the OK button is it uh, less for, um, is it better or not? I can't really tell, but you know you have the option of ch uh, making that change. And if you if you want to set this up for gaming, like if you wanna uh, you know if you're playing a game, you want a picture of yourself while you're playing the game. And what you do is you go to um, go back to where it says sources. You go to um, properties, and then you make the change so that let's see. Uh, you change the resolution to a small one, like uh, 524 by 240. That's a pretty good one. And you go ahead and hit the OK button. And, you know, I like that. That's pretty small. You can make it small. You have those options. Um, if you want to change where the video, where this uh, video box is over here, I don't know if you can see that, but you go to, um, again, uh, right click. And instead of properties, you go up to where it says position and size. You go to, um, by the way, you have a couple options. When you set it to 1280 by 720p, you can actually um, make it uh, fit to full screen if you need that. But just for, to uh, change the area of this uh, uh, video box of myself, you go ahead and you can, you know, choose from all these are four options over here, like move to right edge. And you see I can mo I move to the right edge. And that's it. Um, I'll move on to the next part of the video. Now you'll notice that the audio has changed a bit. Now I'm right now I'm currently using the audio of the HD Microsoft HD 3000 webcam, and you know you can see how it sounds this is about what one and a half feet away, and from before, 
I was using the audio of this guy right over here. It's the, what do you call it? Samsung Meteorite. And so, this is like about one feet right now. This is about two and a half feet. This is about four feet. And hopefully you can get a feel of how well or how good this audio sounds from the webcam if you choose to use it from the webcam. All right. So the software that comes with this particular webcam is this guy over here. Um, I don't know, it's, it's called Microsoft LifeCam. I'll leave a link in the um, description below so you can find it. You can just go to where it says, let's see. Uh, you just go to um, Google LifeCam HD uh, 3000 and driver and the first link uh, sends you to this, uh, to Microsoft's page and you go ahead and download it according to your specifications and you know I mean I, mean, I guess uh, you can re record you can record sound and you can do a video capture oh this is capture a photo my bad this is if you want to capture a photo I'm pretty sure there are more options so if you want to find the uh, uh, anything you've saved for example if I want to record a video or audio you go ahead and do that it shows you that clip over here you can also left click this um, folder to find the um, files in here. All right. There were a couple of other options. You see this uh, little um, tab over here? That's where they were. So you have a couple options about how you want to uh, manipulate the picture. Like if I click this, I look pretty bad. <laughs> or if I choose this picture, oh yeah, that's pretty bad. So you know, you have a couple of options if you want that. Not that I need a second pair of glasses, but I know that's pretty cool that it uh, motion tracks your face. But anyways, yeah, that's the software. And as for the quality of this um, webcam, it's all right. Just um, you, you you get 720p. You have to man if you use OBS, you have to manually change the settings so that it um, works properly. So you you change manually change the settings to 30 frames per second. Now, uh, last thing, it works automatically with Skype. If I go ahead and open up Skype, and let's see, I go to um, Tools, and then I go to Options, and then go to uh, Video Settings. You can just uh, go ahead, if you have like uh, another webcam, you go to where it says Select Webcam, you then choose Microsoft Li uh, LifeCam HD 3000, and it picks it up. And uh, uh, honestly, it should automatically pick it up if this is the only uh, webcam that you have. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye. I would also like to add that if you're looking for a better webcam than the, than the HD3000, uh, there's one called the uh, C920 from Logitech. I'll put that in the description below. And I put some other links you might uh, need in the description.